Hi everybody, my name is Rita, Rita May, and you're welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, a little bit about me, I'm an IT engineer and I'm based in Dallas, Texas. I wish I could tell you guys what my channel is going to be about, but I have no idea because this video was kind of like a last minute thing. So I decided to create this video to create an awareness in the IT industry because I've been doing IT for quite some time now. So I decided that I will let other people know what it takes to get into IT engineering. So the other day, I kind of like posted a video on my Instagram, not a video, a questionnaire on my Instagram, asking if anybody was interested in getting into the IT field or pursuing a career in IT. And the response that I got back was overwhelming. I got a lot of questions that I couldn't answer on my Instagram. So I decided to do this video and share it with you guys. And I hope it helps one or two people out there. I'll go right into it and go through all the questions that I was asked. I'm not gonna answer each and every one, but I what I did was I narrowed it down to about 10 questions and I hope that it's going to answer everything and every doubt that anybody has. So I'm going to be doing that from my laptop because I'm recording with my phone. You know, I'm a newbie. I don't have a camera or anything. The question that I'm going to look at is somebody asked me, what does it take to get into the IT field, especially for someone who has no knowledge about it? Firstly, you need no prior experience to get into IT engineering to get into the IT field. You literally just have to know how to turn on your computer and turn it off. You don't need to have computer experience. You don't need to have done sciences in the past or you have done like, it doesn't matter. You don't need any experience to get into IT engineering. So it's kind of like for everybody. I'm not gonna say that it's for people that are smarter than other people, but I mean, you should at least have a brain to, to, you know, to understand material, you know, be able to practice and you're good to go. The question is, how is the pay and is the money worth it? I kind of like just put that into one question. Yeah. So the pay is very, very, very good. And I feel like you get paid for doing the minimum. Like there are days that I go to work and I literally do nothing I, and I still get paid. Cause it's like, if it's not broken, do not fix it. So I only get to work when something is broken or when something is not right. So most of the time you really don't get to do a lot. And the work that you do is, is not really that much as, as compared to like, you know, um, I would say as compared to like nurses or CNAs, cause you're literally just in front of your computer using your, your brain and your keyboard. You don't need any other thing and you still get paid for doing that. So yeah, the pay is very, very good. Was, is it stressful? And do you feel like it takes a lot of your personal life? Well, I've been in IT for quite some time now and I would say that it is not stressful. Like overall, it is not a, it is not a stressful career. I mean, as compared to other careers where you have to like work to the bone before you get paid, you work like extra hours and all that. For this, I haven't really it hasn't really been stressful for me. I mean, there are days where you normally, you get like roadblocks, but that's like normal for every every career. And there must be days where things are not working out, but overall it is not a stressful career. And it doesn't take, it doesn't take a lot of my personal life. I have my weekends off. I mean, some days I work from home, some days I go to the office. I work a regular nine to five, so I think I still have like a lot of time to do other stuff if I wanted to. So yeah, it doesn't take a lot of my, my personal life. Someone said, okay, someone asked, do you need a degree in IT to get into IT engineering? No, you do not need a degree to get into IT engineering, but you should do, you should have your um, high school diploma though because that's like a regular thing. As a beginner, what are the first classes to take? So currently I work as a Red Hat Linux Systems Engineer and I have other like, I have five other courses that I'm gonna recommend for you guys to take. I even have schools that I can recommend for you guys. But um, yeah, um, I'm gonna put it down on my description box I think that's what YouTubers always say, yeah. I'll find the, des the description box and put it right on there so you guys can do more research on it. Another question is, <clears throat> someone said, I'm currently in school for nursing, but not, but it's not moving. 
should i leave and pursue it is it worth the risk i'm not gonna advise anybody to drop out of school to go do it even though that was what i did <laughs> it worked out pretty well for me but that's not really the best advice to give anybody you should never drop out of school unless you have like a valid reason or you really 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 trust what you're about to do because for me i was actually in school before i decided to leave it and go do it and it has it has worked out pretty 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 well for me i'm gonna go back to school maybe in the future i just don't see see it like doing anything for me right now but i'm gonna go back to school and get back get my bachelor's and my um and my master's degree or whatever but so yeah so i'm not gonna advise you to leave school continue doing what you're doing but for it it doesn't really take long the training takes like three to six months and you start getting you start doing your interviews if you want you can do internships but i don't really think internships are necessary you can because it's like a practical skill you can always sit at home and practice and you you you, you develop your skill if the training is not really that long you can always you know maybe you can take off classes in the summer you can pick one summer and you, you take the classes, the computer classes. It's not going to affect your school or anything. Take it on the side. And if you get a job and you're comfortable with how much you're getting paid, you can then leave whatever you were doing. Because I know like a thousand people, not a thousand, I'm lying. I know, <laughs> I know a lot of people who have degrees in whatever. They have degrees in banking. They have degrees, they're, 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 they have degrees in um, nursing and whatever. But right now, they're, they're doing IT. Like I said, having a degree is also good. But if you want something that is like, you know, fast and is, it's guaranteed, I would advise you to pick up classes, take classes. The classes take like three to six months. And for me, the school that I went to, we only, we only um, went to school two times a week, Wednesdays and Saturdays. Someone asked, um, did you have a hard time fitting in as an African? Um, not really. I mean, um, there is, there's still racism in America and I'm not going to think that I ever got denied a job because I was black, but yeah, for all the companies that I've worked for, I fit in pretty well. Cause I mean, I'm an out, I'm an outgoing person. I don't let people intimidate me. So like fitting in wasn't really hard for me like currently i'm like the only black person in my office in my team and the youngest and the only female so you know that's the cool thing about about ladies so i'm gonna say this to ladies now like ladies when you're a woman and you're in it they kind of like respect you because not a lot of women get into it and even when you go to an interview your chance the chances of you getting that job because you're a woman is higher than if you were a man i mean they, they do hire men but i'm just saying that there's this you know swag when you're a woman and you're in it so yeah so fitting in wasn't really really hard for me you know I, do not let anybody intimidate you because you're black you have to prove to these people that you know what you're doing i try as hard as i can to prove that i'm also worth what they're paying me you understand so yeah fitting in was really really not that bad so i have another question um I'm, I'm in Cameroon. What advice are you going to give to me? So, um, I don't know how the job market is in Cameroon when it comes to IT, but I can say that if you have plans of falling bush, <laughs> if you have plans of coming to America anytime in the future, it, it's, it's going to be beneficial if you study something IT related, you know, because IT is really, 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 really growing everything now is computer based everything is computerized you know so they need the demand for it engineers increases every blessed day so you're always they're always going to need it engineers in the world so the job market is always going to be there somebody asked how did you get into it engineering well when i first came to america you know they say that whoever you live with whoever receives you in america kind of like holds your future in america so thank god for my family they gave me good advice so they told me that they gave me two options it's either you you get into the military or you do it engineering like they, they never even gave me an option to go do cna you know to go and clean sheet or um to 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 do nursing no because i think that they had already already seen the future they had already seen how it was developing so they told me that okay go do this course 
or you go to the military or if you want you can go to school so for me trust me for me when i when i was when i got my visa to come to america the first thing that i could think of because i've always wanted to become an actress <laughs> i know i've always wanted to become an actress or a journalist so coming to america was kind of like i was like oh my god i can pursue my career in acting because you know hollywood you know because when i was in cameroon we didn't really have an acting industry or whatever so i was really really excited but when i came to america i saw that the market for acting or whatever was just too broad and what well, i think american accent to go and act in hollywood unless i only be acting with african part like wakanda i should have pursued the career maybe i would have been part of wakanda or but yeah that's that's beside it so i actually um no you actually did the test to get into the military but then i failed the physical because you know <laughs> i don't know as a man but they told me that i had low blood pressure <laughs> so i couldn't get into the military so when my mini my military um thing knocked i had to like you know i said okay i'm gonna go do the it course but before that i had to you know i registered i registered in school wanted to get a degree or whatever since my acting career had been ruined my journalism i'm like okay if i want to become a journalist where where will i start to go enter cnn you know it takes it takes a long period of time and i have family members depending on me i have a lot of people depending on me so i had to do something that was going to be substantial for me and my family so i decided to you know pursue um it it was just a test thing that i was doing but i ended up liking it and i saw the the gains and the money and everything and i was like oh yeah so i'm 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 gonna do this so that's how I got into IT when I got out of school I took interviews you know I got a job I got comfortable I was practicing I even like had to quit certain jobs because I wanted more money so yeah it's just all about you know getting in there setting your mind putting your mind to it pursue it get comfortable and you're gonna be a boss they're gonna call you one day oh we need an IT engineer for this this that I tell them oh if you're not paying me 200k I'm not taking the job yeah get there one day somebody asked did you face a hard time and in school and what was the interview process like well like i said I only, it only took me six months to complete everything the course the training um, um internships and all that it only took me six to seven months so it wasn't really that stressful i mean we only had classes twice a week and uh, we would always come together and practice we'll have group projects and and all that so i wouldn't say it was that stressful as for the interviews so i'm going to tell you guys a short story when i got out of school you know i put my resume online i got a lot of calls a lot of recruiters called me you know and so the first call that i got was a job that was back back in virginia it was for a systems it was for a systems senior engineer so that's like you have to have at least five years of experience and i just got out of school so what i did was i said okay i'm gonna go for this interview not because i was sure that they were gonna give me the job but just because i wanted to see how they ask questions i wanted to know what they're looking for how if i go for my next interview what they're gonna ask me and all that and this job i think they were offering like 150k a year dude i just got out of school I, I, by then i used to work in retail and i made like what nine dollars an hour so when i saw 150k a year i didn't believe that i was gonna get the job like i said i was just going there to get interview experience so my advice to you is take as if you're done with school take as many interviews as possible i also have a lot of interview tips if you guys are interested in interview tips it, it wasn't it must not be it related like general interview tips i have a lot of knowledge about that i can do a video oh yeah i can do a video about that if you guys are interested just comment down below so yeah um so when i when i did that interview it kind of like helped me to learn more because they asked me questions some of them i could answer and some of them i couldn't answer but i it actually helped me for my next um, um roles like my next um job interviews so what i'm trying to say is take as many interviews as possible because you're learning don't let one interview bring you down so if you go to an interview and you're the interview and you don't get the job it shouldn't bring you down you should just learn from what ask yourself why didn't they give me this job what did i do wrong answer all those questions so that your next interview you can nail it you can do good 
and also like any other job you get like the benefits some companies like there was this company that i worked for though they literally flew me out to california like twice a year and i'll go there you know i work a little i have fun you know they'll rent me porsche cars and i'll drive around and all that so yeah those are kind of like you know a little you know some some but it depends on the company that you work for as i said it depends on the company that you work for and also um somebody asked if somebody asked if i can hack their man's phone i'm sorry <laughs> you shouldn't be with a guy if you want to hack his phone like just throw the whole man away okay um somebody asked um can you explain to me what exactly you do and what advice you have for me if i want to do exactly what you do well this is easy um how can i explain this in a way that you guys can understand okay well like i said before i'm a red hat i'm a red hat linux systems engineer so basically i'm like the root of every company i'm like the foundation of every company so without me you guys are like everybody's just not useless but you know you need the foundation before you start putting you start putting up walls roof or whatever so i'm kind of like the foundation you have to go through me to get your work done so um like an example that i'm gonna give is okay take for example you you, you sleep at night right you up in the morning your iphone has, has updated so i'm the one who does that in the back end you know i do that in the back and while you're sleeping we get your, your stuff updated and also there are certain times where you open your instagram and it has crashed you know so it's our job to go in there and try to find out why it has crashed or whatever sometimes your account gets deleted on instagram we're the ones that go back and try to retrieve your retrieve retrieve is it retrieve or retrieve whatever we go there and try to get back your account maybe you mistakenly deleted a picture from your phone we can go back there and you know try to find it and get it back for you so on a side note if you if you have nudes out there if you've ever taken a nude on your phone and you deleted it immediately thinking that it's not safe to somewhere <laughs> I got news for you, honey. It is somewhere in the server somewhere. So, <laughs> yeah. so yeah, that's kind of like a rundown of what I do just to give you guys like a little bit of an idea of what I'm into. So yeah, so I'm kind of like the root, the foundation. I help fix stuff. I'm like a mechanic for IT. Cool. Like I said, it's a very, very, very flexible career sometimes i work from home you can literally work on your toilet you can literally work on your bed you can cook while you're working you can go do your groceries while you're working as long as you have internet connection you are good so that's like one thing that's really good about it it's really really flexible and if you have like a full-time remote job where you work from home 24 7 you can get two jobs you know you can literally get two jobs and get double the salary so yeah it's really 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 flexible and also um i would advise you to do what i'm doing because it's kind of like the you know it's bougie <laughs> yeah but yeah like i said i'm just gonna put it down in my description you can choose whatever course you want to i'm gonna recommend schools for you guys so yeah i got you don't worry i got you get into the it world now it is developing it is it is growing trust me you will not regret it i'm here for you any questions just ask me i hope this video has helped one or two people out there if you want to pursue a career in it i'm giving you a thumbs up go ahead do it you will not regret it you know if you know anybody else that's interested you can always share the video um like i said before if you want interview tips i can give you guys interview tips i can do another video on that well you know i can i can do it so share the video like it subscribe you know all that good stuff that youtubers always say yeah, and I got you. So have a good one. <laughs> Bye.